Howdy guys! So today we are going to be talking about the Tau. Um, my first true love in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. Uh, I played Tau for a very long time. I still collect them. I so love them. So uh, stay tuned for After the Jump and we'll start talking a little bit about the origins. Okay, so we're not going to jump into the Tau origins completely because there's a lot of interesting tidbits um, that we're going to get into in a later episode, but basically, here's the gist of it. The Tau were a race that were discovered by the Imperium of Man around um, the 35th millennium, um, which is technically like only 6,000 years um, for like the current day of uh, the 40,000 universe. So, so it's... It was really interesting because it was just an Imperial Navy fleet ship that found the Tau on the planet Tau. And back then, they were only a very small race that inhabited a single planet. Uh, they had, you know, done some warring amongst themselves, tribe-like, um, kind of, as, as the, the Imperial of Man were able to kind of observe, um, there were a few specific tribes um, that had attacking each other. So there's a particularly aggressive tribe in the plains um, that would later become the fire cast, as a matter of fact, uh, that kept attacking. Um, and when they found this tribe of people, they actually realized that they weren't very technologically advanced at all. Like, they had just mastered fire. And so they didn't really consider them a threat. Um, about 6,000 years later, all of a sudden, you have an extremely technologically advanced race that has expanded an entire empire, um, so much so that this empire expansion started touching human and, and uh, like Imperium colonies, um, where not only were these colonies um, you know, exchanging goods and trading um, with some of these Tau, but also... Um, they were becoming a part of the Empire. So it's actually quite interesting how that evolution happened in such a short period of time. The main thing about the Tao is that they believe in the specialization of um, a person. There's a certain destiny that comes with being a Tao. You are born into a caste, and your caste determines what kind of life you're going to live. Um, if you're born into the fire caste, they are most absolutely the uh, warriors, um, and they're the soldiers of the Tau. If you are born into an air cast, you are a pilot and a navigator um, flying ships in the sky. If you were born into the water cast, you are a diplomat, a negotiator, bureaucrat, and probably also maybe a storyteller. Uh, and if you're an earth cast, you're a laborer, an engineer, a builder. Um, these are the things that kind of define you. And if you're an ethereal cast, you're born to lead. Um, Earth, air, fire, water, those are the casts of the Tau. And kind of like Mati from, you know, the Planeteers, uh, the ethereal cast is heart. And all they really do is inspire people. And uh, yeah, it's so easy to hate on Mati, right? But really, what the ethereal cast did and why they are so t deeply venerated is because they were the ones who united the Tau. Uh, when they were fighting, um, the Tau lore said that Something happened to the Ethereals that gave them the inner quality to lead and to unite the Tau uh, under a single banner. It was the Ethereals alone who had the the ability to bring people together and to lead and inspire. And that's actually what brought all of the castes, all of the tribes of that planet uh, and grew the Empire to what it is today. So that that position is really interesting. Furthermore... Something you'll observe for the Ethereals is that they have a third eye, which is kind of weird. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later in some conspiracy theory stuff about the Tau, but for now, just, just put a pin in that and remember it. Um, finally, the one thing I really want to iterate with the Tau is that they are particularly interesting in the landscape of uh, the 41st millennium because they are psychic blanks in that they have no psychic ability whatsoever. And because they do not touch uh, the the warp at all, they don't travel through the warp, and therefore are only able to travel at conventional speed through conventional space. It means that their expansion, however rapid it has been, has been relatively slow. They occupy a tiny part uh, of the Ultima Segmentum, um, and the, the 
their expansion was rapid relative um, to their evolution, but in the grand scheme of things, they still got to move through space, and it's 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 kind of a slow process. So those are the important facts about the Tau. Uh, in an upcoming video, I'm going to talk uh, about the other races in the Tau Empire because when the Tau first came out, it was just Tau, and uh, and one other kind of race that that came with them. Um, but uh, but as you can see. The Codex says Tau Empires, um, and that's because there are many races in the Tau Empire, and uh, we're going to explore them a little bit. We're also going to talk a little bit more about the the darker side of the Tau, and the interesting conspiracy theory side of the Tau, again, in a future video. Check out this fantastic model Tegan sent me um, via Facebook. If you want to see your models featured in videos like these, I'm happy to do that. Just send them my way via social media. Links are down in the doobly-doo below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below um, what you're looking forward to, if there are any other 40k races you want me to touch on. Um, it's a long month and we're on day 8 of my video every day, April, so uh, I still got plenty of days to go. And I will continue to make videos. Um, part of the reason why I started doing Vita is to prove to myself that I could make more videos on a more regular basis. And uh, if any of this is somewhat of an indication. It looks like I can, so uh, you can expect more videos up. So please keep your, your suggestions coming uh, in terms of what you want to see in the future. Until next time, I will see you soon. Oh, and don't forget, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks!